Hey guys, uh, welcome to Color Box. And, uh, thanks for coming. Anyways, um, I am that douchebag girl that always just gets away from Harry Potter and say again. Fuck yeah! I don't usually get to the Harry Potter for that This year, I'm kind of glad to get the ending this year. Yay. You need to make another movie. Uh, just make another movie about those retarded, stank, stanky ass kids that they had and their fucking in shitty ass adventures. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that ugly ass font of one of the hottest girls of 2011, in other people's opinion, and the most fucking ugly guy of 2011? Boom! They make babies, they have kids, their kids are fucking disgusting. Yeah. Anyways, I'm here to talk to you about something that I can't stand. Hey, did you know it's National Pet Peeve Week? Anyways, it is National Pet Peeve Week, so I'm here to talk to you about my pet peeve. History. History? Fucking history! It's gay. I mean, like, it's basically. Oh my god, Barack Obama took shit. For the sixth time today, that's a national event. I think we need to put it down in this long ass book that's half of other states. Fuck you. Yes. And I'm just like, okay, I don't care about Barack Obama's shit. I want to learn about some interesting stuff. That means I shouldn't be at school. Yeah. Anyway, it's like. I can't even tell you how mad that makes me because I am like, oh my god! I really don't give a fuck about Lewis and Clark getting up the butt from Sacagawea on the Earth Trail or the Northwest Pass, whatever the fuck they're looking for. You know they did. Your ancestors got up the butt from her to the people. Or the other way around. Maybe Lewis and Clark had a freeway and shoved both their tiny ass dicks up her asshole with her husband. Yes. Anyways, I don't think Lewis and Clark could go without however many fucking years they were looking for. Without some, you know, <laughs> vagina. You know they did. 